Uh, these steps are giving me a hard time. I can't figure it out. Uh, I'm too burnt out. All right, forget about it. Hello, everybody. This is Dr. McBrick, and I am here with a second part of my Lego Friends television show build. And if you recall from the first video, we got the Friends set, we built it, we expanded it out here. So we have this extra expansion right here um, and uh, built the wall so that the wall uh, comes around and uh, fits nicely, build a wall on the back and all that sort of thing. So we have that done. Now we have to do the second story. My idea for the second story is basically just to make this particular um, large rectangle here um, a second story. So it would sit up here um, like this, and uh, this here would then be kind of a roof that would slope up is my idea. It may have a slight slope. I'm not really sure about that. Haven't got to the roof yet, but I want to build this. So in order to build this, the second floor, what I'm going to need is a floor. And I need plates and lots of plates, but that is a large expanse and there's no beams, if you notice, going all the way across there. So how am I going to do that so that floor is very, very sturdy? Well, I've kind of come up with an idea and let's take a look. Okay, so here's a tip when building a second story, or a roof for that matter, um, onto a large expanse in your mocks. Um, I'm using plates. First of all, I'm using two 16 by 16 base plates because they're thick. Um, they kind of have uh, these uh, extra little uh, reinforcements on them and things like that. So they're nice and thick. I'm using two of those, and I'm also using one, two, three, four, five, six by six plates, and one two by six plate. That gives me the expanse I need. Now, this particular mock that I'm building here is the Friends television set. And that's going to have a staircase that comes up through, um, I mean, from the outside. So that's not a worry. But if you wanted to do a staircase that came up through the inside, you could just easily take off one of these plates and make your stairwell come up through that hole. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm using these pieces to help to support this large expanse of roof. Now, these pieces, uh, um, Technic pieces, are really great. They're all one piece, um, so they're nice and solid, and uh, they have all kinds of Technic holes in them. Um, and I'm going to basically set those out in a T formation. But in order to make them super strong, I need to add the pins to them. So what I'm going to do is basically take each one of these, and I'm going to put two of these uh, Technic pins into uh, these this uh, the holes here, and uh, let's see. So, and I'm if you notice, I offset them by one. Um, Technic hole. And that gives it much more um, uh, reinforcement in terms of uh, um, of stability and things like that. You could put them on the ends and that's fine, but I like to put them, um, I like to put them one in because that kind of gives that, the, the, that center of gravity there. So I'll, I'll put my pins in here and I will be right back. Okay, so once we cover that up, if you see we have the T there made out of these, and these are all put together with those pins, those Technic pins, so it's very, very sturdy. Then up here, we put these gray beams, um, Technic beams right here, and we put those together with pins as well, and that keeps everything nice and sturdy. But if you think about it, there's a bunch of little connections here where all these plates meet that could be bolstered up a little more. Now, since we can't put anything here because that shelf right over here, it comes all the way up to the top, um, and we need the extra space. Um, what we're gonna do is just take a bunch of these and place them in strategic areas, like right there. You see where that, that T is, where all these plates come together? Um, just put one of these down in here. That adds some stability, and that adds a, um, a lot of stability that maybe um, your uh, your model right here, see how this, this uh, right here is the uh, two, two by uh, six coming in there and there's one right there and one right there. Well, why not just bridge that gap and put a plate like that? Um, and if you've seen a lot of uh, um, builders over over the, the years and stuff build, this is the way we uh, we put together our floors and our roofs. Um, and, and it just gives that added stability. Right in here could use some added stability. Um, so we'll go ahead and, and we'll put that there. We'll put another one in here. Um, and then this way, this, this roof piece um, probably, now the other thing you could could do if you really wanted to 
you could reinforce it on the bottom as well. I'm not so sure that's necessary, you know, by putting one of these large ones over here. But right there, I mean, that, look, look, it doesn't wave. <laughs> not that it would. But anyway, um, that is very, very sturdy. So, uh, and it also, by the way, will, uh, once I get it on the studs there, will fit perfectly on your friend's television studio set modifications that I've made. Here it is, the second story of my friend's TV show set mock, and I hope you like it. Um, I hope you like it. I I think it turned out pretty well, to be quite honest with you. Um, you see, uh, one thing that you'll notice is that there's no roof. There's no roof on either of them. Um, we have the start of the roof and the front of the building of the roof, but that's because the roof's going to come in part three of this particular series. So just for this, I built the second story. And one of the things about the second story that you'll notice is that it follow alongs with the brick, the same color in this medium flesh color or this nougat color with the tan bricks that kind of offset it. I have the tan soffit kind of uh, our, our uh, stripe going up here to the soffit. I used the green tiles. Um, to kind of make the indentations and to bridge the gap between uh, the offset windows and everything like that. This archway right here uh, is going to be where those snot bricks are. I plan on getting a custom two by four tile printed with whatever the name of what this store or whatever is inside of there. So then that way it will uh, um, be a sign and a place for signage. Um, you see how I, I did the roof, basically. Um, I'll get a little bit into it in a minute, but you see the clock and the roof work there. Um, these pieces for the roof, actually, just real quick, and all of this, all, all of this up here, I'll fill in and all that kind of stuff right now. Again, it's not totally finished, um, but I use these old pieces that are all one piece and they slope on both sides. Now I got a bunch of these really cheap. I mean, they were pennies on the dollar. Um, and, uh, and, and so I got these for pennies basically. They're kind of scuffed up and they're used and everything, but they make a really nice and easy way to do a roof. And then what I did was add the cheese wedges over here to add kind of that boutique-ish um, awning look for this particular mock. Now, you see the clear windows in there. Well, first of all, I didn't have four clear glass panes, so I had to, or plastic, I had to rob those, um, steal those from somewhere else, and I stole them from my Ghostbusters mock. Um, they had, the, the windows in that um, had uh, four um, glass, or clear glass, and so I, I, I took them from the Ghostbusters house. It's not a mock, I'm sorry, I don't know why I call it a mock, but I, and I replaced those with blue, just temporarily until I can get the the um, four more plastic ones and I'll put those in here and then put these back in the Ghostbusters. So anyway, don't get too upset about that. Um, but you can see how, how this all kind of fits in um, and it all kind of works. Now on the side here, um, basically made uh, um, the, the side of the building looks pretty good. Um, looks pretty good. That's a steep uh, step for the uh, second story. Um, <laughs> but as you saw from the very beginning of the video, um, one of the things I'm going to do is put a staircase here. That's why those jumpers exist right here, because there's a staircase that will go up here and it'll be kind of a staircase stairwell type of thing. Um, pretty solid. And then I'll be able to pull it off so that I can actually open this door as I had uh, made it to swing open and stuff like that. Um, so that way I can just take the stair off if I want to use it. But you see, all the way around, basically I, I, did, uh, um, I did the green stripe all the way to here, and then I did a gray stripe. Oh, it's not seated properly. Sorry, I'll have to seat it properly here um, in a little bit. Um, but anyway, so you see, I, I made it out of tan brick. Um, all the way around, all the way around. And then, of course, there's this side here. So um, that way, even though this side here is going to be up against the Sanctum Sanctorum, um, it's still going to be, uh, uh, I still want it to look halfway decent. This side, there's not much I can do about that. But again, this is going to be inside of the Sanctum Sanctorum. So um, that's not a problem. I got I to gotta sit that there. Um, I'll do that after I get this camera out of my hand. So anyway, so that is the second story. And there's just a little window right there. Um, that is the second story. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Or better yet, go to drmcbrick.com and uh, watch this video from there and comment on it. Now, the inside of the building. There is absolutely nothing there. Not a single thing. That's because I didn't do the details yet and I didn't do the interior. I need you, the viewer, to tell me what kind of interior I should build. Um, send me suggestions, but I would like to follow a couple of rules. One, I'm not going to build Monica's apartment. Sorry, 
I know some of you have requested that. That's no reflection on you or the show or anything like that. But I, I just don't want to build another apartment because we have all kinds of apartments in Figsdale. And look how big this is. Look how big that is. I want to have businesses or something unique that's in here. And I made the door, if you notice right here, the door is such that it's all the way over to the edge. So I can literally, if I wanted to, I could have a hallway with four stud hallway all the way down here. And then I could subdivide this into really two or three um, different office spaces or different spaces. Um, so if not, I could just have one huge, I was thinking of like a department store boutique type of thing. Um, uh, you know, I had thought about a whole bunch of stuff. I won't mention all the things I've thought about, but you tell me what you think I should put in there. Um, and I'll try to build that. And of course, all this is going to be filled in and straightened up and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then I'm going to do the roof. The roof down here for this particular part will basically be black and flat um, and just kind to follow the shape. I may slope it just a hair um, or cheese wedge it or something, but uh, you know, I think it looks pretty good. If we get down on a minifig level, um, just looking at it from a minifig level, what do you think? What do you think? It, how do you think it looks? You know, I think it actually looks pretty good to be quite honest. Um, so anyway, so yeah, that is my um, second part of my friend's mock, the second story. There won't be a third story on it. You know, my 26 year old was saying, hey dad, why don't you put a, uh, a, a, a rooftop garden, um, kind of like they had in the Quickie Mart up here. That would be kind of cool. And so I could actually get, you know, some use out of the roof as well. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about it. But anyway, that is what I have so far. It's going to go way back there next to the Sanctum Sanctorum. I think it'll look pretty cool. Stay tuned for a Figsdale City update coming up. I am going on vacation here for the uh, last week of November, the first week of December. So I have a couple of pre-made videos that I'm going to drop. Um, but I won't be very active. You can always go to drmcbrick.com. Um, take a look at some pictures. I'll try to post some more before I leave on my trip. Um, for those of you that are think of, uh, thinking of uh, coming and breaking into my house and getting all this cool stuff from Figsdale, don't try it. There's still two people living in a house and will be here even though I'm on vacation. And I have a 90-pound dog um, So and an alarm system and all kinds of stuff. So anyway, just in case you were thinking that, don't do it. Don't do it. All right, this is, oh, by the way, I am a member of the BrickTubers Network, and all of the BrickTubers can be found in the description um, in the links below. Please check them out. They're wonderful people. And please check out drmcbrick.com. Go there, comment on this video, and uh, comment on anything you see there. And we will be excited to have you as part of that website. All right, that's about all I have. This is Dr. McBrick signing out.